Do you ever walk down the street or the sidewalk and see a plant in some random place and wonder, well, how the heck did it get there? Well, today we are going to be exploring that question with wind. In this experiment, you will build trees or plants and design seeds that can be blown away with the wind or in this case a fan that you will assemble. So first we will look at the science behind wind, look at example seeds, and then show the experiment and finally describe how wind is important to your life. Let's explain how seeds use the wind to travel. What is wind exactly? Well, wind is moving air molecules. You can think of these air molecules as little balls just floating in the air. Stop a moment and think. If you had a bunch of little balls and you threw them at something, what would happen? If you threw enough of them and you threw the balls hard enough, it'll move the object that you're throwing them at. Similar idea goes for air molecules. If they all hit the sail, then, well, it's possible that if it's strong enough, it can push whatever the sail is attached to forward. So we know wind can push things. So why is this important? With just enough push, wind can help push the seeds to faraway places. This is a process called seed dispersal. The shape and the weight of the seeds can make a difference in how well a seed disperses in the wind. For example, some seeds are called gliders and they look like wings. And when they are released from the parent plant, these seeds glide through the air. Maple trees and sycamore trees do this. Another type of wind dispersed seed are parachutes. These ones have umbrella-like structures and when the wind blows they can literally float off across rivers, valleys, and mountains. One thing to notice is how the structures of these plants look like. Like this dandelion here has a very thin, long stalk, so it's easy for it to catch the wind. Here is another parachute style seed. This one is from a milkweed plant. Another type of wind dispersed seed are helicopters. This type of seed has what looks like two wings. And when it falls, it whirls and spins around just like a helicopter to send it to faraway places from the parent plant. Another type of wind dispersed seed are called flutters or spinners. These ones will actually catch the wind and flutter or spin away from the parent plant. There are many cottony type seed that are seeds that are dispersed in the wind and for example, here is the cotton plant. Notice how the stalk is tall and long, so again, it can catch the wind. And notice that each cotton puff is full of many, many little seeds. So when that puff gets blown off into the, sea, the wind, it's carrying many seeds with it. Tumbleweed is another type of plant that disperses its seeds by the wind. When this bush dries up, the wind will actually push the, the bush along and it will roll in all sorts of places and as it's rolling around, seeds fall out of the bush and those seeds are now ready to grow in new places. It is important to note that it's not just seeds that get dispersed by the wind, but also pollen. And you can see this with corn, 
and wheat. And notice again how the wheat are long stalks. They're not bushy where it's taking up a lot of, it's blocking the wind. It allows for the wind to hit the, the, the pollen and allow that pollen to fly off in the wind. Okay, now it's time to begin the experiment. We will go over materials, how to make a tree or plant, how to assemble a fan, and how to design and test your seeds. First, you will gather your materials. We'll be using pipe cleaners to make little trees for our seeds. We are also going to be using Play-Doh, which we will stick our pipe cleaner tree in so that it doesn't fall over. We also have cotton balls, both big and small, just for some variety. We are also going to be using tissue paper to experiment as a type of seed. Be creative. What other seed materials can you use to test? Can you design seeds out of paper, cut up plastic bags, string, beads? Look around yourself and, you, and find things that you can use. You will also need an electric fan. You can get one that you need to assemble or you can just use one that's already assembled. Next, you will build a tree or a plant. There is no right or wrong way to do this. There are so many designs that you can come up with. You will use pipe cleaners to do this, but how you structure the plant is up to you. Think about how all of the plants that use wind dispersal for seeds, how are they structured? Now we will build or assemble an electric fan. You are going to take from your kit the yellow fan blades. Attach the fan blades to the motor by sticking the metal bar into the hole in the back of the fan. Line up the battery inside of the holder as shown in the picture here. The gray side should be pointing up towards where the wires are. Slide it in. For the other side, the gray part should face the bottom. Slide it in with the other side pushing in towards the spring. This is how it should look once it is done. Thread the shiny pieces, the metal at the end of the wires, through the little holes in the top of the motor. Keep the red and black wires on different sides. Do not put them through the same hole. Take a short piece of blue tape, one or two inches, place the tape over the wires and the holes so that they don't fall out. Finally, you will design and test your seeds. You want to find the best design that can fly far away from the parent plant. In the next few slides, I will show you some examples of some seed designs. Let's test out what could happen if we were to use tissue paper as our seeds for our model tree. If we held up our little fan against it, do you think that it will travel far? How would it look as it travels? As you can see here, some of them flew off, but a number of them were a little trickier to get off. This was how a lot of the seeds on the tree were shaped. How do you think this affected the way it flew? Was it light enough? Could it catch enough air? Let's try a different shape for our seeds. This time we'll be using cotton balls. What do you think will happen when I blow the fan on it? Will it fly far? Take a look at the cotton balls here. 
and see what you think. This is how the cotton ball was shaped when it went on the tree. How do you think the shape affected the way it moved? I have some thinking questions for you. How can you improve your seed designs? What other materials can you use? Does the shape of your plant make a difference? Think those questions through and try your best to make a design that allows for seeds to fly far away. Now you understand more about how wind can carry seeds, but why is it important? What does it do in your life? Well, for starters, wind is how certain plants that we eat pollinate. Corn is a crop that uses wind to disperse its pollen. Think about it. Where do you see corn being used in your everyday life other than corn on the cob? Corn is in the corn tortillas we eat. We use these corn tortillas to make chips to dip our guacamole. Wheat uses wind to disperse its pollen as well. What kinds of foods have wheat in them? The cereal you might eat in the morning uses wheat. The bread you use to make sandwiches uses wheat. Plants aren't the only ones who use the wind. People use the wind in a variety of ways as well. When you go to the beach and you see sailboats, those sailboats rely on wind to get them to move along. If you were to go out and fly a kite, the wind is the thing keeping the kite in the air and the, the fun going. Winds can even help people get energy for their homes so they can turn on the lights and watch TV. Let's apply what we learned. What kinds of plants do you know that have seeds that travel in the wind? What would happen if seeds couldn't be moved by wind? For an added challenge, create a seed that can fly farther, or a type of type or a type of tree that could help the seeds fly farther. <laughs>